so i welcome you to the lecture series on digital image processing and today our topic is histogram equalization okay so you know histogram equalization is a part of global contrast enhancement okay and you uh, what actually we mean by contrast enhancement that is also a very important point so tell me what is contrast enhancement what do you mean by contrast enhancement by comment okay i am just giving you an overview of contrast enhancement contrast en enhancement is a process by which the pixel intensity of the image is sensed to utilize the maximum possible bins and you all know what is bins okay so i am repeating the definition again the contrast enhancement is a process by which the pixel intensity of the image is sensed to utilize the maximum possible bins thereby available in the image okay and the term contrast refers to the separation of dark and bright areas present in the image and what is what actually uh, the contrast enhancement brings for us what is the advantage of it the advantage of contrast enhancement is that it removes the ambiguity that may otherwise arise between different regions in an image okay so it tries to remove the ambiguity and this contrast enhancements are classified into two types do you remember it first one is local contrast enhancement and the second one is the global contrast enhancement and uh, the there exist differences among them so i'm going to note all the differences between the local contrast enhancement and global contrast enhancement possible okay so note them down they are very important first in case of local contrast enhancement in this type of contrast enhancement that is local contrast enhancement a small window is a slide through every pixel of the input image sequentially and only those blocks of pixels are enhanced which fall under in this window this means local information is utilized intelli intelligently in this case as we are concerning the small window at a time so actually we mean the we mean to extract the local information so that is about local contrast and and just opposite to that in case of global contrast enhancement what happens the global histogram information is considered for enhancement and as the whole image is considered at once so local information is ignored in case of global contrast enhancement clear then in case of local contrast enhancement local brightness feature is considerably improved in this case so contrast ratio can be improved in every region of the image to note that why because we are concerning every particular window okay so and we are trying to enhance the contrast in that window thereby not a single region is escape for this uh, local contrast enhancement procedure so overall uh, every region of the image will be improved to the contrast ratio okay but in case of global contrast enhancement what happens here we concern with the global brightness feature so this limits the contrast ratio in some parts of the image and this results in significant contrast losses in small regions of the images especially you will see that in the background you, you will find some loss of uh information due to the less improvement of contrast in those regions that is the disadvantage of global contrast enhancement well third important difference is that local contrast enhancement technique is computationally complex sometimes it involves high cost due to consideration of overlapped sub blocks so overall i mean to say that obviously you will get better contrast improvement but at the cost of what high computational 
mathematical expressions are actually uh, complex in the case of local contrast enhancement. So therefore, you will get those better contrastment only at the cost of high complexity. Okay, but in this case, what happens? The, the advantage of uh, this thing is uh, with the global contrast enhancement because why? Because global contrast enhancement is computationally simple and is suitable for overall enhancement of the image. Now, coming to the examples of local contrast enhancement enhancement techniques, we have two famous ones that they are they are A H E and C L A H E. Okay. So, AHE stands for Adaptive Histogram Equalization and CLAHE stands for Contrast Limited Adaptive Histogram Equalization. And in case of global contrast enhancement techniques, two famous examples are histogram equalization and histogram specification. So, actually, at the start, I am going to discuss the histogram equalization, but before discussing this contrast enhancement, techniques okay what is contrast enhancement and why we perform the contrast enhancement it is not possible that's why we, i have discussed that and the difference between local contrast enhancement and global contrast enhancement is very important and this is the reason i am discussing that well so i i have got that you all understood what is actually contrast enhancement is and what are the different version of it and in which part the histogram equalization belongs. So, coming to today's question, that <clears throat> first question is, what do you understand by contrast enhancement and what are the main parts of it? Second question is, in which type of contrast enhancement technique the histogram equalization belongs? Okay, comment the answer. And in the next lecture, I'll discuss histogram equalization. Well, that's all for this class. Take care. Bye-bye.